Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, before I get started, I just want to say excuse the hair and the no makeup thing. <laughs> it's just because I'm about to get in the shower and get ready for the day. So, the video I'm filming today is um, my everyday hair routine. Um, I thought this would be quite helpful because people might want to buy the products that I'm using, go out and try them themselves, you know, um, or something like that. And what can be so simple like straightening your hair to someone can be new to another. That hair is really wrong. Okay. okay, so I'm just about to go and get in the shower and then I'll come back out and um, start filming again with wet hair. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Hi guys. So I've not long come out of the shower, as you can see. Um, so I've just gone ahead and applied my makeup. So my hair is pretty much nearly um, starting to dry now. So I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry it, and then after I'm going to straighten it, and um, I'm just going to show you um, bits and bobs of, of how I do it. I know all that heat on my hair is not good for me. That is why I'm using heat protection. Um, so first of all, what you want to do is, once you get out of the shower and you've let your hair dry a little bit, um, grab a wide tooth comb. I don't know if this is so much wide toothed, but um, it's a comb and it is a lot better than using a brush. It's important to comb your hair through with a wide tooth comb as it's wet because using just a normal hairbrush will break your hair. So what you want to do and even if you've got knots just gently brush them out but usually I don't have that many knots because I brush my hair before I go in the shower I then use my um, Aussie Miracle Hair Insurance um, leave-in conditioner so you just spray evenly through basically what this says is um, Our Aussie formula with a drop of Australian jojoba seed oil, I don't know if I pronounced that right, helps to tangle and protect. It smells lush, is a must for the beach and makes styling easier. Basi and it just says um, spray evenly through towel dried hair, comb through and don't rinse out, it smells good. Okay. So now I use my, um, my John Frieda um, Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Lightning Spray. Uh, I've never dyed my hair in my life, so this is probably the nearest I'm going to get. Um, what it is, basically, it's just um, a light build-up. Um, I think it's... Um, once you get up to about 10, 10 washes, it starts to be noticeable in your hair. And um, you just spray this to get give it a nice light blonde look. And I use it mainly on my... Um, parting and at the front of my hair because um, although I'm a natural blonde um, I do have a dark undertone like a really dark blonde and I hate it because I just prefer to be all light blonde so what I do is just I'll, put, I'll spray it in the places that I want it to be sprayed and go through that okay so um I first actually heard about this on um, by Whitney Eve. Um, for those who don't know, uh, she is off the hills, and um, I think she also has her own fashion label. Um, she tweeted about this, and I went and saw it in the shops. It was in Boots, and it was six ninety nine. So I was really mm and arming about getting it because um, six pound, nearly seven quid for a um, 100 ml bottle, something that I've never used before, I was really like, didn't know whether to get it, but I was in Asda one day and I saw it on offer for £4 and I thought that is a bargain, I'm just going to try it and I'm so glad I bought it, um, I've used this about four times now.
is I've just blow dried my hair so um, yeah I'm just about to straighten it I'm just waiting for my straighteners to warm up uh, I thought I'd take this um, time to show you what products I use in the shower to actually wash my hair so um, these two products I would have shown you in one of my hauls a while back so this is the Aussie Take The Heat um, shampoo of some of the um, stuff's come off from all the washes um, I've had this for about um, a month now and I'd say I've still got a couple of washes left in there. Um, so yeah, I wash my hair every other day. So that's a good few washes out of this bottle. Um, it is, Aussie is an expensive brand. Um, not completely really expensive, but ex more expensive than others. I said I'd, I was going to do a review on this. Um, but I think I'll just say a few words about it now instead of filming just for a review. Um, this shampoo is brilliant. I'm so glad I brought it. I haven't got the conditioner to go with this. That's why I use the um, Aussie Miracle Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner um, for when I've, I'm out of the shower. Um, but yeah, this has got the same ingredients in as the hair insurance spray and it helps protect against heat damage. It says it right there. And this is really good. Um, as I said, I've been using it for about a month now. My hair is more fluffy. Um, it would be better if I didn't use my hair dryer and straighteners, but I'm never going to give them up, so this is the, probably the best I'm going to get. And I'm really pleased with my hair. Um, and the conditioner I've been using is the Boots Coconut and Almond Intensive Hair Mask. And this is this is quite a big tub. It's um, 350ml. And this was only like two pounds, I think. And um, this is for normal to dry hair. And I've been using this with my Aussie, with my Aussie and um, yeah, great results. Uh, I'm definitely getting it again. And as the same as the Aussie, I'm right at the end now. See, I've done that in about a month. I've probably got about four or five washes out of that one left. So yeah, now I'm just going to go ahead and start straightening my hair. All you're going to need is a comb, and I use my tail comb. It's um, Salon Performance from Boots. And um, I used to um, straighten my hair back in the day with my fingers and just go like that with the hair straighteners, and I'll never ever do that again after I started using this. Um, and I'll tell you why in a minute why it's so helpful using a comb. And then you're going to want a clip. Um, I've just got these clips. I've got a butterfly clip to hold my hair back. And these um, hair slides. Okay. And then you want a heat protection spray. Because um, it's important. Um, I use Lee Stafford, Lee, Stafford, Lee Stafford Flat Iron Protection Shiner Mist. And the straighteners I'm using today is is my Remington ones, I don't know the model or anything like that, it's just Remington to me. And it's got an LED display, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's LED not LCD, I don't know why I get confused. Um, but it counts up to the temperature and I've got it on 180, I used to straighten my hair at 230 degrees. Which sounds really terrible but um, that's what I used to do. And it's got a really pretty floral design down the front. And there's where you adjust the temperatures. Okay, so first of all, oh, and a brush, of course. You want a brush for your hair? I've already done mine. Um, you grab your tail comb. This is why it's so much easier as well. You just section your hair. I only need to section mine into two. And then you grab it underneath. And then what I do is pull the rest of the hairs down so you're not getting tangled. And then I twist this around my finger. And then I take it and clip it up on top of my head to get it out of the way. So I look like a crazy person. Okay, so you've now got this. I probably should section it into three, but I really can't be bothered. So just comb this bit. And then grab your heat protection spray. Spray it at arm's length. Brush that through, and then I'm going to show you how to straighten my hair. How I straighten my hair now. So, what I 
do is um, I'll grab the tail comb and I'll get under the piece of hair with a straighten and then I lift it up and then I'll put the straighteners under my hair and close down and then I turn the comb back round and brush with my hair and then sew on like that. I don't know if that, that makes sense to you, it's so simple to me. That's how I straighten my hair. I'm going to do it one, um, a, few, a few more times so you can see. So grab the piece that you want to straighten and just lift out and get the straighteners and go into your hair. Close the straighteners and then turn the comb back around and brush. Okay. It's so much more easier than um, using your fingers because your fingers can get really hot under the heat. <laughs> I hate it so I, I always use the comb and I've been doing this for years now ok the bottom half doesn't take that long to do so I'm literally nearly done now ok so I'll let the top half down and brush through that Spray, spray, spray. Okay, I'm gonna do um, a few more. I'm just gonna straighten it a, f a bit more and then I'm gonna show you the end result. Or this video is gonna drag on forever. So, as the same. Get your tail comb and uh, turn it around and straighten like this. If you've got short layers like me and you want a bit of oomph in your hair, just curl your straighteners under uh, at a slight angle and it makes it all bouncy and lovely. Okay, so I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so this is the finished look. So, um, yeah, I hope you like it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I have got more videos to come, I promise. I'm going on holiday um, at the end of next month. So I'll be doing stuff like um, what's in my travel bag, um, holiday miniatures to take, stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to filming them videos because that will mean it's nearly time to go to Florida. Yee! I'm so excited. 44 days to go. <laughs> I've been counting down from 10 months. How sad. Ugh. A bit noisy. But yeah. yeah. Thanks again guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.